Today's Toy Spot, we're having a look at the Hasbro Marvel Legends Infinite Series Build-A-Figure Collection Jubilee. We're having a look today at Strife. Strife not only comes with the head of Jubilee, but also comes with the projectile pieces, the electricity pieces for Jubilee. Also looks like he comes with a sword. Now I know what you're thinking. Spot, why didn't you do another figure that had the other arm of Jubilee? I just like Strife. That's my reason. That's all. I'm going to stick with that. The back of the package, and by the way, actually, this figure, by comparison to the other figures, have more. this has more weight to it. Uh, on the back of the package, a really neat image of Strife. The read-up says, wielding powerful sonic powers, this evil time-traveling clone of Nathan Summers nearly eradicated humankind when he unleashed the deadly legacy virus. Other figures down below in order to build Jubilee, there's Strife Magneto, Marvel's Cyclops, and Storm. Wolverine gets nothing. He gets unmasked treatment, but he gets no peace to build Jubilee. Spot's going to take a break and get this opened up. Certainly when we come back, we're going to get a better look at Strife. There's more Henny Way, guys. Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. For your consideration, Strife does come with one of the pamphlets, once again, that shows you how to build Jubilee. Not that it's overly complicated, but they've decided to put in instructions in there nonetheless. It says, snap Jubilee, Marvel Jubilees together as shown. Also, have they taken the liberty to check off, telling you which one is actually included in this box. Like, you didn't know that this was actually the head. That, that right there, that's expenses that you don't need to put in there. They could have just given us, again, this pamphlet. Putting this to the side, you get yourself four Jubilee pieces, the head. There she is right there. Pretty neat looking head. I like the, uh, the that metallic violet color that they've given her lips. Well, actually, I guess her lips are more of a darker coloring, but the metallic purple that they've given her glasses. Moving the camera further back, 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 back. Let's take the body that we've already started for Jubilee and just put the head on into place. I know, I know, I'm still missing the one arm, but I like Stripe, so we, we kind of had to... Uh... Oops, there goes the arm. I was going to say, that's not going to be properly in. I took some luxuries and I decided to do the head first, and then we can go back and do the other arm. I don't know, for some reason this arm does not want to sit in place. That's a very small, small peg, and it just does not... It. I struggle. That's what I'm doing right now. I struggle. Let's get that into place. There we go. There's Jubilee. She also comes with some energy projectiles. We'll show you those guys in a second when we kind of have a look at all the other figures. Strife also comes with a sword. A sword. Nice sculpt, though it doesn't really have any other paint. It's just cast in this kind of very dull, muted gold color. But I like the, the artwork that they've put at the top there. That's a nice touch. He has only one hand that will allow you to hold the sword. The other hand is, uh, is open. And the downside, though, is when putting the sword in his hand, you have to kind of put it in on an angle to get the bottom of the sword past his hand. As you can see right there, that little piece right there becomes a bit of a nuisance. But you have Strife with his sword. I don't know if I'd even d display Strife with a sword. He's so cool. Do I really even need the sword? I'm just going to, I might even just ultimately leave it off. I'm just going to do that. I'm making a, an executive decision. I'm just going to take this and put it to the side. Uh, Strife is a really neat, neat looking figure. Uh, one of my personal favorites as well, and I always, when I, I'm pretty certain, I'm like 89.74535777% sure that this figure was going to be released at one point, and it fell under that line of, we couldn't release it, but we're just going to tease you and show you what figures could have been. They also did that with Magneto, and they also did that with Storm, which in itself could be a rant all on its own. I mean, I kind of feel like if you're going to take the time to tool a, a mold, and molding 
is so expensive to actually take the time and cast a mold that if you if this was theoretically a figure that was going to be released and you showed us production prototypes of what they were going to look like you technically already have the mold to say okay well we've made the figure this is what it looks like but we're not going to release it says to me you have money to throw away that's just my little side opinion at uh, the end result though great looking figure i love the look of strife uh, strife has a soft spot for me too as well because that was when i was really into x-men comics and it was one of the few times that i remember when i was younger where i had to get s comics from like a multitude of different titles to follow it and the comic that I was referencing is the executioner's song if anyone's read executioner's song i think it was one of the earlier if not the first appearances of strife but it covered over the x-men the uncanny x-men x-force and i believe x-factor were all titles that were in that mix and uh, i subscribed to really all of those titles and I, I didn't read any of them, and I just kind of kept them to the side, and then I went back later, and I went through every title. So when I got to the end of Uncanny X-Men, it said continued in X-Factor. Spot went right immediately to his X-Factor comic, and I read it. And I think I spent all afternoon. It was a great, sad story, I suppose, in the sense I wasn't outside playing, but I did actually have a great time reading that comic. Uh, Strife is exactly how I would imagine him. I think he turned out really well. I guess the downside to Strife is he's extremely back heavy. Uh, he has peg holes on the undersides of his feet. No, 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 no. He doesn't come with any display stands, though. That would be ridiculous. But the the cape that they've given him is not pliable. It's a dense, hard plastic. The end result is it makes it extremely hard for him to stand. It makes him very back heavy. And without the display stand, Strife topples over. Um, normally, I would say I'm not a, I'm not a big fan of the pre- pre-posed claw hand but for some reason with strife i i somehow can excuse it also dig the silver treatment that they've given strife in his armor and i really like this kind of it, it's almost like a bluish it's almost got a green tinge to it uh, a green tinged silver gray that they've put in the rest of his armor that silver also or that darker silver also breaks up the lighter silver that makes up the majority of his mask the downside to his mask though is that his face is good but why could they not have made those eyes lighter than what they are uh, from a distance they're so washed out because they almost just blend in with the rest of his facial uh, paint his flesh color there they should have made those eyes a lot whiter than what they did and those eyes don't actually encompass the entire eye socket area of the mask. They're smaller, so if you had made them just a straight, solid white, it would have popped. Instead, they ended up going with like a, almost like an off-white, almost borderline yellow. Uh, he's got the spikes on the sides of his of his armor. He's got the like little pieces on the sides of his on his legs there as well. He's a really neat piece. I kind of wish that his underru armor, this piece right here actually was glued into place uh, it just kind of flops around it doesn't really need to be moving for the purpose of articulation because it it's cut where you could still move the legs and you could still do the ab crunch um, even the swivel in the waist would not have been obstructed because this is a softer rubber they almost should have put like a dab of glue right there and affixed this into place i don't care for loose floppy armor and sadly this Strife has that in his in the lower underroo area. For your articulation, Strife does have a ball hinge socket uh, head, meaning that you can move the head up and down. And there's some detail actually on the back. I didn't even show you on the helmet there. Really nice, nice touch. Uh, as for his shoulders, the shoulders are also in ball hinge joints. There's a swivel in the bicep, double bend at the elbow, a swivel and hinge in the hand. Upper torso crunch, swivel in the waist, and the legs go forward, back, out, swivel in the thigh, double bend the knee, and a bend hinged foot. Uh, what's interesting, though, is whether this figure was an originally created figure back then, and it just never got released, because he does use newer articulation in the leg versus the likes of Magneto, who still uses that dreaded swivel hinge. Uh, the end result, though, still a great figure. This will probably be my favorite figure from the set. 
it could even be potentially a tie between him and Mohawk Storm. Strife does things very well. The paint is phenomenal. Kind of wish that his eyes were a little more colored in, but still a great figure nonetheless. Strife, I'm going to give him an 8.5. Today's Toy Spot, we were looking at the Hasbro Marvel Legends Infinite Series Jubilee Series Strife. Stay tuned, guys. Spot's going to have more Toy Spots heading your way. Certainly more videos heading your way about X-Men because we're going to be looking at the other two figures in this line. Those videos will be heading your way. Lots more will be heading your way. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.